All right, what up, guys? Um, I was having some troubles because I don't have a SIM card on my iPhone. Um, it's an iPhone 4, and this only will work on the iPhone 4. So uh, I wanted to try out the new iOS 7. You know, I'm like, oh, it's sweet. I want to try it out. Well, I couldn't do it because of um, that. That is no SIM card, so you can't activate it. I'm like, well, what the hell? Of course, there's no jailbreak and stuff. So I was kind of on my own. I'm like, well, what do I do? So after many hours of trying stuff, I figured out a way, I made it work. Um, I'm gonna post the links in the description for all this stuff. You're gonna need to run this Java file and connect your device. Um, it's in DFU mode now. And I've seen other ways to say the bypass, you know, the setup menu. Well, you know, you turn your phone off, it's gonna turn back on, and you're gonna go straight to the setup menu. And it's kind of tricky to get right. And just all this other crap flies. I mean. Why even try when you can just, you know, remove the setup menu and you can just have full access to your device and use it for the heck you want. So, um, people don't know me. I, I get what I want. No matter what, I will get what I want. Apple can't hold me back. So, um, and this will only work on the iPhone 4. iPhone 5 does not have a boot ROM exploit, so you can't do that. Also, when you do this, it doesn't activate your iPhone. Your iPhone will still be technically whatever you call deactivated. Um, so basically, you're you can't sync with iTunes and you can't get push notifications. But oh well, cries. I mean, I just want to use this for my iPhone and I want to show bragging rights that I have iOS 7. You know, and most don't. So whatever. And you can get it too without a developer account. Okay, when this is done, you're gonna log in. You know, you. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, you're gonna type in. This is Win SCP too. Um, so you're gonna type in root. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. You're gonna type in localhost. All right, and now you're gonna open up an SHSH, SHSH terminal, and we are going to type in mount .sh, and you should receive this output. I'm gonna close that up. In here, in here. Oh, and by the way, when you're doing this, do not put anything in the setup menu because it will lock it out when you're done with this. It won't boot up. Okay, and now we see the setup app. We can delete that. Make sure it's set up. Just double check. Okay. And we can close this out. Oh. I forgot what I did to close it out. Just here. Okay. And we can reboot our device, pull the home power button and keep it out of that mode. Personally, I do not like, I'm not a fan of Apple, I don't have any Apple devices besides of this because I use it as a music player. Um, I develop ROMs for Android though, Jelly Beer specifically for all the Kindle players. Okay, so anyways, Tiny Umbrella, open that up. Wow, that. Uh, we need Tiny Umbrella to kick it out of recovery mode. Uh, we'll click on the recovery device and click exit. And it should boot up. We'll see. I'm just gonna disconnect this. I'm paranoid.
All right, good. Last time I didn't boot up, I was like, what? So, um, see, there's no setup. You do get this, but who freaking cares? Just unlock that. And ta-da, look at that. You get full access. I'm going to double check. Hold on, pause this and double check. Yeah, all right, yeah, so you get full access to your device. No limitations here. Um, all the apps will open up, even without a SIM card, so. Yeah, pretty much I just deleted the whole settings app, not set, setup app, and it works just fine. Um, other than that, yeah, have fun playing around with iOS 7. And remember, yet again, this only works on iPhone 4, there's no boot alarm exploits for the iPhone 5 or 4S. So you have to wait till the jailbreak if that happens, but otherwise, yep. And you can also use that method to inject uh, root scripts so you can get root access but most people don't need root access on their iPhone unless they want to jailbreak it so um, yep enjoy